Hi, JB Squiddy here. So you want to make your own wallpaper? Papercut is a very clean and satisfying style for your phone's background. I love it. And it's so easy to make. Let's open PowerPoint and jump in right away. First we need to adjust the dimensions of the slide to the same one as your phone. Go to design, slide size, custom slide size. Go to Google and search for an online pixel to centimeters website to calculate your resolution. These are the most used resolutions. I have got a Samsung A71 with 1080 by 2400 pixels display. So that will be 28,575. And here 63,5. Click OK and this doesn't matter. That should be the perfect size for your phone. So let's zoom out and remove these. We are going to make the purple wallpaper with the fish from the thumbnail. So click insert shapes and then the curve tool. Just click around and make a bean shape like this. At least we make it a bean by editing the points. Click a point and drag these lines to make it rounder. Make sure every point is set to smooth so it doesn't generate a sharp corner or straight, which kind of works the same, but only on one side of the point. Okay, so make it beautiful and round like that. And that's number one. To make the second one, we copy this with Ctrl C and paste with Ctrl V, make it bigger and send it to the back. There we go. The point is to evolve the shape every time it becomes bigger just needs to fit nicely around the smaller shape. Ctrl A to select everything and make the outline black so we can better see what's going on. Now create two more shapes the exact same way. You know how to do it so I'm gonna speed this part up. Alright, time to color. I'm just going to assume you are terrible at color picking, so let's draw a gradient bar that will help us. Now create a smaller rectangle and place it at the left of the bar. Then a second one at the right. And then we need three more in the middle. Now we have five marks for the one, two, three, four, five layers. Select these marks and align them right here to the top and spread them out horizontally. Perfect. Now these will help us pick the right colors for our wallpaper. So let's select this bar, shape format, fill and gradient fill. The left one, um, so make sure the type is linear and the angle of the gradient should be 90, not sure. Okay, just select two colors you like. I'm going for a light purple and blue. Ah, okay, the angle should be zero. Now this bar is exactly what we need. Click on the background and apply the first color. And the smallest shape should be the other color. For the other shapes, you can just use the eyedrop to steal a color from the gradient bar, right above a mark. This one should be here, and this one should be here. Beautiful! Delete this and select everything to remove the outline. Now we add some shadow right here. We want to create a pool, so this is what we need. You can play with these bars to modify the shadow effect. 
These are the values I want to use for the paper cut effect. Looking good. A small detail is to give the shadow a little blue instead of black. Now it's time for the fish. Use the same curve tool and draw something that looks like a fish. Edit the points to make the shape even better. I start with the tail because I want it to be a pointy one. Something like that. Adjust the rest of the fish, make sure everything is round and curvy. Now let's add two fins. We make them from a triangle. Copy, paste and then mirror the second one. Alright, we don't need the outline. Select all parts of the fish and then we go to uh, shape format. Ah, here, merge options, the first one. Now the fish is one shape and we can place it in the pool. Okay. Give the fish a dark blue gradient. And for the shadow we need this. This pushes the shape back, this pushes it to the front. A dark blue shadow. And then let's do something like this. Of course you can adjust the distance. But this way it looks like the fish is really just floating there. Now quickly save the slide as a PNG and send it to your phone to use it as a background. Beautifully made all by yourself. And no worries if you don't want to make them yourself, because on my website you can find lots of free paper cut wallpapers made by me. So check them out and download your favorites to absolutely upgrade the look of your phone. And if you want to support me, you can donate as well. For every 3 euro, I will add a custom wallpaper to this page. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my content. And I will see you later.